We're on Orla, Perak Aleph, Mishnah Chet, eighth Mishnah in the first chapter of Orla. So in the last Mishnah, we talked about certain things that were asur for certain halachot and mutar for other halachot. So we learned that the leaves and the and the lulavim and the shoots and the migfanim and the and the and the and the liquid that comes out of the geffen were mutar for Orla, for Netar Ravai, and for Nazir, but were asur from the Asherah because it was called cherem. We also learned about the smada. We learned about the sap. So our Mishnah is a continuation of that Mishnah. It says a Mishnah. An kol kolot v'hachartsanin v'hazagim v'hatemet shalehem. Let's translate. An kolok, an kol kolot, an kol kolot, says the Bar Tenura. Ashor no trikon, it's a, it's a combination word. Anavim de laku tlat. Grapes that were laku, that were uh, afflicted, tlat means a third. Kolomar meaning, shalaku kolom sheyviu shalish bishulam. They were laku, they, were, they went rotten before they became a third ripe. So, ankolok, ankoklot are bad baby grapes. Chartsanim, seeds. Zagim, grape skins. Vahatemechelem. Temechelem is a, is a kind of mead. It's, it's like a grape skin wine. What they would do is they would, when they were done squeezing the grapes, and they would take the seeds, and they would take the skins, and they would, they would soak them in water. Okay, and that would produce a kind of mead, a kind of uh, sort of weak wine. Clipe rimon, okay, the shells of a pomegranate. Van nature on its crown. Clipe egozim. And the clipot, the, the shells of nuts. Vahagarinim. And the seeds of any fruit, okay. Asrim So all those quests, can I eat any of those things because they're not the actual fruit? So during the first three years, if they grew from a fruit, can I, can I use the clipe rimon? So the mission says, Asrim ba'orla, they're prohibited from the din of orla. Why orla? Okay, let's just read the mission first. But orla, Uba Ashera, if it's an eighth Ashera, if it's a prohibited Avodzera tree, Uba Nazir and Nazir can also not eat them. Okay, Umutarim be Ravai. And they're permitted, Veneta Ravai. If, if they're from the tree of the fourth year, i.e., you don't have to take them to Yushalayim. Let's explain why. Why are all these things Asurim be Orla? Bartunur says, Zichtiv et Pirio. Et, the language of et. Okay, when it says in the Torah, let's go back to the Pasuk. Or latem, or latem, or lato, et pirio. The Torah could just say, or latem, or lato, pirio. But the fact that it says, et pirio, teaches us, et atafel pirio. Even the things that are tafel, that are tertiary, that are secondary to the fruit. If so, why are they mutar b'ravai? Barton of a session, et ravai, eno asur bahana. You're allowed to benefit from them. Elenechal lebalim ki bishalayim, ke maaser sheni. They are like maaser sheni that they're eating bishalayim. They're not kadosh them, so they're not asur bahana. And these things, these things that are not the fruit, only edible things. So let's go back to our chart. And so we have here, okay, all of these things, the, the baby grapes, the bad baby grapes, and the seeds, and the skins, etc., etc., are Asur Orla, Asur Nazir, Asur Ba'ashera, because everything is Asur Ba'ashera, but they're Mutar, and that's a Ravai, because they're not, because they're not Kadosh, and they're not Ra'il Achila, it's not edible, and those things are not prohibited, like we learned in Maaser Sheni. I should just mention the Isur, the prohibition for the Nazir, only refers in this case to the grape products. It does not, of course, refer to the pomegranate products. Vahanovlot, Kulan Asurot. The Novlot, the bartender says, what are Novlot? Perota Noshrimin Ailam Konogmar Bishulan. These are fruits that fall off the tree before they are completely ripe. Kulam Asurot, they're all prohibited. Bain Orla, Bain Revai, Bain Bashira, Bain Benazir. Novlot are basically, they have the din of fruits. Let's just add it here. Okay, Novlot. In each case, all of them are asur, 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 asur for each reason. Orla, it's fruit. Netaravai, it's edible. Nazir, it's grapes. And for Ashira, it's also prohibited as part of the tree. We'll stop here. Dedicate the learning to the memory of my father, Rav Simcha Ben Yisrach Kalman. And here's my email address if you want to contact me. It's always nice to be contacted. Have a good day.